everybody welcome to my channel first and foremost if you also watch my fish catfish reviews I'm taking a break for right now I'm just for sticking to one show and I've decided well actually y'all decided based on your views ghosted so we're watching I mean we're watching uh, let's just get into this it's MTV ghosted love gone missing season 2 episode 2 Shannon and Jay now uh, it first starts off with um Rachel and Travis trying to set up the cameras like we are all the same way especially when like using a phone like I do like it takes you a minute to set it up but anyways Shannon is from Milwaukee Wisconsin and you know Shannon is a pretty girl they notice there's no friends in her photos like why does that matter like most of my videos on photos on Instagram there's really nobody in it but me though no mean that you're conceited or a narcissist it's just you know people keep coming and going but um yeah and um she says so they meet her in the zoom and she says she's a single mom and he was a single dad and you know he's a comedian and he, he loves his son she got ghosted in late september 2019 and they were supposed to go on a date night together and you know before that date night he had just ghosted her we don't know why or what all the pictures of them were gone but he didn't he blocked her off his phone but they still follow each other on social media so how does that work like you blocked her off your phone but you kept her on social media like what is wrong with you um so rachel thinks there's a lifestyle conflict because she likes to drink and he doesn't really drink like that so maybe that, that was it and they go look into j day's instagram and they see he only posts his son and comedy and these shows could teach you something about you know relationships like maybe you should think of not putting i know you said you're a club promoter but maybe you should think of not putting you know your tatas on the internet and letting these guys say whatever because if you're in a relationship with somebody they should you they should get the block button or just delete it like that it's not cute um and then rachel's husband pops up i guess he's a doctor or something i didn't know that or something like that and you know rachel asked for his advice what he think would happen be like oh yeah no something ain't right here and then they get a hold of shannon's friend a or a royale and he says that shannon has a secret but he's not gonna tell that secret because you know he's a good friend like that so we're like hmm what's her secret and then shannon says her friend's secret is that she's a pansexual and that means that she's basically attracted to anyone so never really understood that one but that's okay um jay pops up in the zoom with just him and rachel travis and rachel and jay says it's been months ago and he's just ready to like move on and he says he honestly don't really want to do this and he said his reasoning for ghosting her is personal so rachel's like hmm what's going on here what's going on and then jay says you know he sends this message this message and jay is ready to confess and Jay tells, I mean, not Jay, um, Shannon tells Jay that she is pansexual. And he was just about to say why he, <laughs> funny friends, just funny. And he was about to say why he ghosted her, but, um, he had to get up and go. Like, where was you going? You couldn't just say it? Where was you going? And then he said, I need a minute. I just need a minute. I just need to get up. So he got up. And then, um, let me see. Um, oh, sorry. And he said, he's tired of beating around the bush. And he said, the reason I ghosted you is because I'm married. And she was like, excuse me, if it wasn't for this fucking quarantine, I come over there to beat the shit out of you. Like something like that. And I was like, whoa, girl, whoa, 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 calm down. And then he said he was separated. Why? I know you was just dating, but it's nice to tell somebody that if you're married, about to separate, to get a divorce, like, you made her look like a mistress. Like, what is wrong with you? And he dumped her for the sake of his family so he could be keep being in his son's life, which I understand. But at the same time, you could include Shannon in. Like, what was wrong with you? And he said he didn't feel secure because Shannon was, you know, posing with the athletes and this person and that person. And he said he was going to leave his wife for the one, leave the one he loves for the one that he likes. Like, you ass. What is wrong with you? And he felt good 
to talk to her again. Like he missed talking to her. Things didn't, and then he says things didn't work out with the wife two weeks after she moved in, moved right out. And then he showed, I think that was later on, that there was no um, furniture in the room. And Shannon, you know, when they get to talk by themselves, Shannon don't trust him and she's hurt. So it's time for them to do the makeup or ghosted thing. Um, they both chose to make up. Um, Jay says he wants to try to be friends again and see where it goes. And she picked makeup, but she looked kind of pissed off when she did it. And then we learned that three months later, um, that it didn't really work out romantically. Like, they, they couldn't get past the talking stage. She tried, and she had to bring it up again, wondering, like, why? You really did this? Really? Huh? Like, is that what we're going to do? But, um, I <laughs> um, yeah, that was pretty much it, so... Basically, it didn't work out for them. They are still, they didn't block each other, but it just didn't work out relationship-wise. I hope you all enjoyed this review. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If there's any other reality shows that y'all would like me to review on a different day, like maybe Tuesdays or Fridays, let me know, and I'll see y'all next time.